have a car now I have to explain everything um, what happened with the car because I didn't get the exact year that I wanted it's still a brand new car it's a 2021 instead of 2022 but I'll explain later like the reason the reason behind me getting a 2021 but it's still the same car um just a different year in a different color so I will see you guys once we get to the dealership. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Sitting next to you from the dealership i got my car i didn't get to film it just because it was a lot going on they, the guy was teaching me how to use my car the features in my car and then we went to like my my aunt house because she wanted to see my car and we went to um my parents house because my dad didn't go with us and he wanted to see the car now they had tinted the windows so we went there and by the time we finished it was dark so i'm just going to show you guys what the car looked like when i get up in the morning because i do have a doctor's appointment so i'll just show you the car what the outside looks like and then i'll do like a dedicated um maybe car tour in another vlog but i will see you guys i'm going to eat my kfc so i will see you guys tomorrow okay guys so i told you i will see you tomorrow but i kind of lied you're seeing me now and that is just because i totally forgot that my pretty little thing package came i literally ordered this like three days ago and it had i guess like the rush delivery for like ten dollars and i think it's normally like fifteen dollars and so I did it and I didn't know it was going to come that quick because you know it's coming from the UK and usually it take a little second. Three days. Three days. And here's my um thing. They literally shipped it out um within a few hours after my order. I got a tracking number. I was like, what? And then when I saw the estimate day, I was like, there's no way it's coming on a Friday. I was like, I just ordered this. Friday. I have it. So I'm going to open it up and try to stuff on to see if it fits. Pretty Little Thing, I'm still trying to figure out their sizing. Like I've ordered stuff from Pretty Little Thing um, like a few weeks ago. and But it was mostly like shirts and stuff. And like from some of the shirts, you know, I just, I didn't really know what to get. So I got a size six in all of my shirts um, and they all did fit. But you know, with some of these other shirts, I'm just not sure if I should get a size six because I think all of the shirts, except for one of the shirts, and, and I also ordered a dress, all of them had like stretch to it. So, you know, most of the time if they're stretched to it, it's going to pretty much fit. Um, The only shirt that wasn't stretched was like the little, a little white top shirt that I have, but it was like oversized. So I knew it would fit and I actually could have probably gotten a four in that shirt just because um, I like I have a smaller chest. So I definitely could have got a size four in that. But we're gonna see how these other ones fit because these are different styles of shirts and I don't think none of these shirts have stretch. And then I ordered two pairs of bottoms and so I was really nervous. So I, my sizing fluctuates. I can wear anything from a size four to a size eight. It just depends on how stuff is cut. I don't really know what pretty little thing sizing is. And like in Fashion Nova, I wear, I usually wear a size small in shirts. Occasionally, depending on the fabric, if it's something that's cut small, I'll get a medium. 
pants. I'm usually around a size five or a seven. Again, just depending on how it's cut. If it doesn't have stretch or anything, then I'll get like a size seven or if it has minimum, like very little stretch, I'll get a size seven or sometimes I even go up to a size nine just to make sure, sure that it fits. But if I know for a fact it's like a stretchy like fabric, I get a size five because, you know, most of the time it'll fit. And a lot of times when I get them in a size seven and they're stretchy, they're always too big, like in the waist or in the crotch. So with, if they're stretching in size five, you know, you can work with a pretty little thing. I've seen so many different reviews. And everybody's just like sizing is all over the place. So I was just like, just to be safe, I got everything in a size eight. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to try it on and kind of show you guys in my little mirror here. So I forgot I had ordered these little stretchy things, these stretchy pants. Look at these. These are size six. I forgot I ordered these. I did order a size six. Look how huge these are. I should have got a size two. Do you see how big these are? I may have to give these to my sister these are entirely too big for me but they would have been so cute i'm going to like reorder these but i'm going to give them in a much much smaller size i'm so upset i really wanted these pants to wear all right let's try the next so same thing happened here i actually got these in a size eight because they look really small on the site as you can see these are huge i should have gotten a size four so these are a loss and these would have been really cute so i'm gonna to have to give these to somebody or either send them back you get a smaller size. So let's try another pair of pants. So far, this is a total bust. So let's okay, try so I have these little leather pleather pants. So I got these in a size eight, I think. And for the most part, they fit. I got them because of the thigh. They're a little too big in the leg area. I have wide thighs. Um, Yeah, but they fit in the thigh part. In the butt, they're... There's a gap in the waist. They're obviously too big in the waist, but I mean, it is what it is. And they're a little kind of like saggy in the leg part, but it is what it is. I'm just going to keep them and make them work just because I feel like if I get, uh oh, I don't know what I got going on. I feel like if I get them smaller, they might be too tight. They stretch pretty good, but I just feel like they may be too tight in the leg area. All right, so let's try the next. So the next pair. thing I order are just these little basic stretch pants, like a little, I don't know what these are. Just like basic, cute, dressy pants. Kind of wear with a cute outfit. I got these in a size, what size are these? I got these in a size eight. Um, I could have gotten a size smaller for them to be, for them to fit even more because these are very stretchy. But, I mean, I'm not mad. I don't like my pants too, too tight. So, I mean, this is fine. Um, It definitely would have been tight around ankles if I would have got a smaller size. But, that'll work. So, let's jump into these shirts now and see. Because I'm disappointed in my first two pair of pants. So, let's see about these okay, other so ones. I did not button this all the way up. But, I want you guys to see this shirt. I got this shirt to go with the brown leggings. I saw... um. A YouTuber named Jada, I forgot what her full YouTube name was. She had this outfit on, this shirt with those brown uh, liquid legging pants. And I thought it was so cute. And so she got this shirt and she ordered it in a size four. I was going to order in a size, we are similar sizes and height. I think I'm about two inches taller than her. But she is shorter than me, so she looks heavier than I am. And I just figured that because I was taller than her, my weight is a little more proportioned out. Um, but that I probably needed to get um, just a size up because I have chunky arms. But when I went to get this shirt, it was sold out in all the sizes except for a size four. So I got a size four. And look how huge this size four is. And now it has me scared because I ordered another oversized shirt that was of a different material. The material is like, I guess, like a little more stiffer. And so I ordered it in my regular, like, size well the size eight top i'm usually not even a size eight top i'm like a four or a six but i just don't know a pretty little thing and now i'm scared so i'm gonna try that shirt on next to see this is the shirt so it isn't that bad i thought it was gonna be way worse um it's still really big and i definitely could have probably gotten a size six in this shirt uh but like i say in the arm part like i have chunky arms but with this, because it's so oversized, I definitely could have sized at least a size down in the arm section so that it would fit a little more. But 
it'll be fine because more than likely i'm going to be tucking this shirt and tying this shirt so you're not going to really even notice or care that it's oversized so that's fine i think i still have three more shirts to try on so ugh, this is the next shirt i got it's like this uh i'm trying to show it to you and put my phone down a little bit it's a collared shirt with little pockets and it's cropped and it ties um in the back it's really really cute and it looks actually looks cute with these pants it would look better if these pants were tighter but i mean it is what it is we can't be too mad but yeah anywho so i got this in a size eight and i'm glad i did um because it fits pretty good like i said i have chunky arms and it seems like the, the material doesn't have any stretch at all and so it's like <sighs> yeah it's not stretchy and also it's kind of cut weirdly so like in this general area like it's cut you know pretty pretty decent and because i have a small chest i always can go down in shirts like this and i don't even have it tied all the way so it can go tighter in the arms though you know it looks like it's getting a little small in the arms so i definitely would not have um sized down with this but nonetheless it's still cute and get some cute little strappy heels or you can pair this with some cute jeans, shirt with cute jeans, but strappy heels with this little outfit. And this is a little vibe. I think it's cute. I love this shirt. This is really cute. All right, on to the so next. This shirt. is the next shirt. I got this in a size uh eight as well. And if I didn't say these are all US size eight, so US size eight, and I think UK size 12. Um, this shirt has these little cute under booby things. I feel like it would have fit even better if I went down a size because this is a little big, as you can see. The shirt on the model was kind of fitted and of course this is a little big um it's still a cute shirt i'm still gonna wear it. i'm not gonna return it uh i don't know if it'll be cute taken in because i feel like because you see how these are i feel like if you take it in it's gonna long pull these out some so i mean it is what it is i'm just gonna wear it as is and it'll be all right so yeah it's still a cute shirt it's just a little too big but oh well we're still gonna wear it all right so on to the very last shirt so hopefully this is a all right so this is the very last shirt don't mind the background it's getting real messy back there but um this shirt looks like this it has it's like a i don't know like a satin velveteeny kind of and it has these little um pleats in it which i think was really cute uh, this is how the shirt ties. The shirt doesn't have buttons or anything, so it ties like this. So you're either going to have to wear like a plunging bra or no bra and just like some boob tape. But I thought this was so cute. I got this in a US size 8, UK size 12, and I'm glad I got my size in this. It does have some stretch, so I could have sized down, but like I said, it fits perfectly. So I don't like stuff too, too tight. So, and it would be cute with this outfit too. Give him some cute black strappy heels. So yeah, that was a success. The sweatpants, no. So if you, here's, I guess my tip to you. If you buy anything that is a sweatpant, go down a size or, you know, maybe even two. For me personally, I needed to go down two sizes. Um, if you have a little more body than me, cause I don't have any butt. So yeah, I don't really have any, anything going on back there in the back. Uh, if you might have a little more hips, a little more butt, then maybe you could get away with just going down a size. But I would definitely say they are oversized, so go down a size. So that gonna that is going to conclude tonight. So I will see you guys now. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everybody. So today is Saturday. It is 7.47. I am up because I have a, a daughter's appointment with my orthopedic doctor. So I'm dressed. I just threw on like some work, uh, workout gear and I put some water on my hand and just brushed it back. Because I'm not going to get like dressed, dressed until after I go to the doctor. Because I just had to throw on some shorts so he could be able to see my knee and kind of see um the bruising on it. And my knee is kind of swollen too, so I want to be able to see all that. So I just have on shorts. I throw on this jacket. It's chilly outside. I did not want to wear shorts, but I need him to be able to see what I'm talking about when I tell him what I tell him. So I have on shorts and some sandals, but I'm going to change it to some warmer I mean, well, yeah, warmer clothes when I get, um home because i'm not trying to get sick um so yeah i think i might like go ahead and make up my bed because i still have some time and then i hop in the car and head over and then when i get back i'm probably gonna go to the yard and then i'll show you guys my car 
So I will see you guys when I get back. All right, guys, so here's my car. This is a 2021 CHR, brand new. This is the XLE edition. Um, you can tell because it has the rims. All XLE models have rims. I got it in black. This is the key. Keyless entry, of course. You don't even have to use your keys. But yeah, this is the car, basically. I'm not going to go into too much detail just because I think I'm going to just do a, a car tour. Um, but yeah, I just want you to see it's blue on the inside, which is what I wanted. I did at least get that feature. So yeah, that is the car. Stay tuned for the dedicated car to guys. Now, back to the vlog. Okay hey guys, so we have mold the yard. We're about to leave the house. I've gotten dressed for today. So let me show you guys my outfit. Right, so this is my outfit. I have on a crop flannel from forever 21 a crop uh short sleeve shirt from h&m i have on my um forever 21 chains and my american eagle jeans with my um air jordan ones in the um pollen color so yeah, I'll see you guys once we get out and get about. Bye. Hey guys, so back home. Um, so after I showed you guys, like, what did I show y'all? I can't remember what was the last thing I showed y'all. Whatever the last thing was I showed y'all. I, I, I think it might have been a car. I, we left, me, my mom, my niece, and my brother. We went to Sam's and went to Firehouse and got food or whatever. I came into the house and like gave my sister her food too for firehouse. We ate and went to, we had to go back to my parents' house because I had to get my, um, I had to print out my insurance card, my new insurance card for my car. And what else? Oh, we went to Ulta and we went to the vitamin shop. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I literally only bought like three things, but let me show you what From I got. From the vitamin shop, I got the rose hips. This is cold press extra virgin rose, rose hip seed oil. This is what I use on my face. Uh, this is amazing for like dark spots. It's also great for people with acne prone skin. Um, you know, a lot of times our pores get clogged and so this is very non-clogging. So this is why I use it. Also, if you have oily skin and you want to put a moisturizer like on your face that won't like make you extra oily, this is perfect as well. Also, like again, like I was saying for dark spots, it has like, it's, it's basically like retinol in rosehip seed oil. And so you can use this to fade dark spots. Also, if you want your skin to have like a natural glow, this is amazing for helping your skin to glow. It gives your skin this nice glow. And so if y'all see my skin, is always like shimmery. Like, I don't necessarily want to say oily, but it look extra moisturized. Like this is all I, this is literally all I use. I put it on damp skin and put it on, keeps you moisturized all day long. So this is great. This is a two ounce bottle that I get from the vitamin shop and it's like $21.99. So yeah, that's what I got. So on to the next, the next thing. thing I got is the Peter Thomas Roth Ac Acne Clear Invisible Dots. Um, you guys know I rave, I rant and rave about the Peter Thomas Roth line for acne. And this is one of the things I get. Um, these are expensive. I'm not even going to lie. I think these are probably like 30 something dollars. And you get 72 clear dots. But these dots have a salicylic acid in them as well as tea tree oil. And uh, I think it's hyaluronic acid as well. And so when you put this on your bumps, it literally draws them out. Like, and sometimes, like just depending on the type of blemish that you have, it'll have it'll pop by in the morning. So when you peel your little patch off, all the pus will come out of it. Like literally, I'm not, that might be TMI, but this stuff is amazing. So I always use it. So if you're looking for some really good um, 
invisible dots because these are pretty popular definitely try these again these are on the higher end these are high end um acne dots but i promise you you won't be disappointed by these all right so next thing i got is also by peter thomas roth and this is the therapeutic sulfur mask so if you are like me and you suffer from cystic acne you are definitely going to want to buy this this is amazing um i've been using this for like the past i want to say like year and a half and this stuff works amazing and so you can like you can either put it on just the sections where you break out or you can do it as just like a full face mask um you know but also you have to be mindful with this like you don't want to use it continuously like every single day so just pick like a day out of the week that you want to use the mask and use it like once or maybe twice a week and this stuff is amazing for helping to like pull out that um stubborn acne especially a cystic acne girls it definitely helps to reduce um the size of your bump and it helps to like bring it out bring it to i don't necessarily say i want to hit to a head because like with cystic acne we hardly ever reach a head but it'll just help to um pull the uh the cystic acne from under the skin and eventually go away so with this let's see if i can kind of does it say it on the front some of the properties of it Oh, it has 10% um, sulfur, which is amazing. Like that's literally maximum strength. Also has bentonite clay. Uh, and everybody knows bentonite clay is amazing. So it's a medicated mask with 10% maximum sulfur, purifying, I guess, colon oil, bentonite clay, dries and clears acne blemishes and helps prevent the return. Designated to, designed to exfoliate dead skin cells, absorb excess oil, help purify clog pores soothe and soothes and calms with aloe um so yeah and these are instructions and so as you can see it says two to three times per week so you definitely want to you don't want to use it too many times so yeah that is that um this is expensive i'm not even going to lie to you this mask alone is i think 52 dollars. but i'm going to show you how big it is this literally will last you for two years um depending on how frequently you use it but let me go ahead and show you um how much this is how much you get in here there's there is more it look like it's been scooped out but that's just because there's a little top thing that goes on top of it and I, it, there's literally like a bunch of it sitting on that little top part when you pull it off so literally before you even have to start scooping out of this you could just use what's in the top and what's in the top can last you probably like two or three uses as a matter of fact let me show you really quick this is how much that's in the little top I actually said it, I accidentally said it inside the, the top top, but this is how much you got in here. And literally this, depending on if you're just spot treating, if the, you're just using that spot treatment, this could easily last you like maybe like 20 different spot treatments before you have to even go into your big container. Um, if you're doing like a full face, you obviously can get maybe like one or two masks out of just this right here before you have to go into your um, container. But yeah, but that's pretty much how much you get. It literally will last you a while. I usually, um, I'll say like once or maybe twice a month, I'll do my full face. But for the most part, if um, I just use it on my spot areas, which is around my, uh, also my around my nose, like underneath, well, underneath my nose and on my chin. Those are the areas I usually spot treat. But yeah, that's what I got, guys. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. Uh, we're about to go run some errands really quickly. I got to go to Target and I'm going to stop by Verizon real quick just because I want to check out the iPhone 13 to see if they, you know, are worth the hype. One of my friends told me I should go check it out. So I'm going to go check it out and see what they're looking like. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I just have on a white shirt from Kohl's. A little uh, like Cuban link necklace from Forever 21, Forever 21 earrings. Um, some brown sweatpants from H&M and my Yeezys. So we're gonna go ahead and head out and I'll see you guys in the hey guys. So we're back home. I I didn't follow anything of what I did. We went to Target and I got hangers, some more hangers, and I bought some gray joggers. And then we went to Verizon so I could look at the new iPhone 13s. I didn't get it. My sister is putting up a picture. It, I do like the camera quality of it, but I just don't know if I wanna like restart the whole like having a like because i don't ever buy my phone straight out i just always get them added to my plan 
Because then that way, you know, if you're the type of person who upgrade a lot, you can just upgrade after you pay a certain amount and just get a new phone. But I always keep my phone set in anyway. But I don't know if I want to or not. I mean, my bill not going to be like astronomically higher than adding the phone to it. But you know, like that first bill is always high because they tag on all the extra fees, especially Verizon. But I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But then we went to Burlington and I went back to the house because we stopped at Zach's Speeds and got a salad. I got a salad. Me and my sister got a salad and fries. And now you got a wings and things. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to go get some gas in a few. Because, of course, this is tomorrow's a work week. It starts the work week. I don't know. But the camera cloud in the 13 is pretty fire. But I was talking to the guy in the store, which is what kind of made me not get it. Because he was saying that it wasn't like any significant features and that kind of that seems to kind of be like the same trend with Apple, which kind of annoys me because you know, like most of the time when other phones come out with an upgrade, it's like something that's pretty dramatic that has changed about the phone and it just honestly seems like it's just like small little changes. And so he was saying, you know, most of the time when Apple does like make a drastic change to the phone, he's like, usually it's like, after like so let's say for instance like they just came out with the 12 last year right and they come out just come out with 13 so he was saying like a significant change would be like on the 14 he was like so you can either upgrade to the 13 now and just get kind of like the minimal little basic changes which was like to the camera and size wise he's like that's like the main difference difference and he was like performance wise you know it might be a little more more responsive than like the other phones and um it's now 5G, so you get like a better signal. But he was like, other than that, it's not nothing like extravagant or crazy to like upgrade your phone for. He's like, unless you just like really, really want it. And so that was the thing. I'm just like, I don't know if I like really, really wanted that much to upgrade my phone because I currently have an 11 um, Pro Max. So I'm just like. I don't know, but when you think about like content and stuff like that, um, I'm trying to get better with taking pictures on my Instagram and I want to start taking like better quality photos on my, uh, posting on my Instagram, like getting more active on my Instagram because I'm mostly active on my YouTube and not really on Instagram and that's what I'm trying to do. And I know like camera quality wise, I know I can get like better photos on a 13, but at the same time, just like. I'm just buying the phone strictly for the camera. My camera isn't that I have now isn't trash. It could be better, yes, but it's not like super, super bad. Erica, would you say that like the camera was like dramatically different on 13 for me? Not really. No, no. Yeah, it was just like it's it's much clearer and it's much I guess like sharper. The picture's more sharper. The the quality of the pictures, now don't get it twisted. They're very nice, but it's just like I'm not seeing anything that's just like, oh, like girl, you just gotta get it, like. So that's why I'm not in a rush, but I do have a photographer friend who got the phone and he was just saying how great it was. And that that's definitely something to consider is the quality of the camera and the pictures that the phone takes. So that's something to think about. I'm going to try to figure it out before, what time is it? Um, so right now it is 105. I don't know what time Verizon goes. I, Verizon goes late. I think it was like eight, but I'm going to try to decide by two. <laughs> If I want to get the phone or not, um, cause then I just go cause the Verizon's are like three minutes from my house. So I'll decide like if I want to go. Hey Tootie. Hey mama Toot Toot. That's my dog. Um, so I'll decide then if I want to get the phone or not. So if I go back out y'all, I'll let y'all know. If not, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So we are back. We left and went to Marshall's. And I went to Dollar Tree because I need to get some wipes for my car. Because, you know, it get dirty quick. And when I do my car, too, y'all be able to see, like, what I'm talking about. The part that get dirty in my car quick. So, I went and got... I got glass wipes because I have fingerprints in the windows already. I'm pretty sure my knees. And then I bought two of the Protect wipes because I need to wipe the, uh, like, center consoles down. And stuff like that. Then I went to Marshall's and I'm going to show you what I got. I got some more candles and I got treats for my dog. But let me show you what I got. First thing I got is, let me move my purse. 
is her little belly bone dental care yogurt flavored uh, bones. And it got probiotics and prebiotics in them. So I got that. And then I bought candles, of course. And the first candle I got is called Cigar Lounge. I first saw this in TJ Maxx where they had the small candle. And I was just like, man, I wish they had a bigger candle. Lo and behold, go into Marshall's today and they have the bigger candle in girl it was only $7.99 so I bought this then I found if I can get it out I found this candle right here called and it was $7.99 too it's called smoke whiskey cider oh my god y'all it smells so good when I tell you I searched the entire store for a bigger one they don't make it in a bigger size but I did get this one. Oh, it smells so, 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 so good. And that's by um, DW Home. And this one was by, who was this one by? Uh, okay, I'm not really sure who the company is, but. Oh, here it is. Leo Ben Company. But yeah, I thought this was cute. And I saw like the top on this one too. And this is a nice fall scent. And it smells really good. Really, really good. But that's all I got. So I'm about to go and clean the inside of my car. And I will see you guys later.